Hey everybody, uh, it's been a while since I've done a video and that's because we've been moving. Um, finally got to uh, our destination and uh, we're in the garage right now and you can see just got stuff just piled up everywhere and uh, got to get things put together. But <clears throat> I'm um, going to get ready and hook up the uh, rocket heater and I wanted to uh, open this thing up and see what uh, see what it looked like. Uh, after the trip and after burning it all winter long and I put this in here for storage Go ahead and take the top off here real quick <clears throat> went ahead and took the top of it off and what uh, what I did find was that uh, my seal along the bottom didn't hold uh, lost all my vermiculite it's down in the bottom here mixed with some ash but uh, but the top's still in pretty good shape the uh, so what I'll do is I'll see this is this also came loose from from the uh, bouncing around in the movement in, in the move so pardon all the dust but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this and I'll flip this thing upside down and I'll fill it back up with uh, fresh new vermiculite and then I'll put furnace cement on the bottom or refactory cement now clean this thing all up and uh, get her all fired back up. But one thing that I wanted to uh, show you was all this collection on the side of the heat exchanger. And look in here. This is, in my opinion, probably from a low temperature because... I believe we've had some pre-assault type stuff build up there. And because it's really it's really not on the top where the main heat was. It's just kind of where it started to cool down. And uh that uh that could cause possibly uh some sort of a, a fire, chimney fire in there. So I am going to uh try to operate this with uh, with a much higher temperature but um, being installed here I should be able to operate this without the fan like I did in the in the rental house and this is going to operate just like it did it's going to come out the back here it's going to come up I'm going to take this window out I'm going to go out and then straight on up with it so uh, I, I'm either going to install it in this window or I'm going to install it in that window and that's where the peak is. The peak of the roof runs like that. So I might run it there and all the way up the peak. So hard to say which where, which window I'm going to run it through. But um, anyway, that's what the inside of it looks like. Not too bad. Not too bad. But all right. Well, uh, well uh, I guess I'll get this thing cleaned up and figure out where I'm going to install it. And I'll uh, come back and show you guys after I get it up and running. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.